All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what you guys need to take off in order to get this properly prepped and ready for paint and repair. So we need to focus on taking these uh, seals off right here, and there's a couple screws uh, right in front of here that so you're gonna have to take off in order to get this entire rubber seal off. So the outside rubber seal screws, so there's gonna be two right here, and then there's gonna be two uh, under here, right here and right here. And you're gonna to wanna to take those out and then you can easily pull this off. Now you don't need to take the trim off underneath the silver trim uh, if you don't want to. You can just tape over that, um, but if you feel more comfortable taking this off to spray this more, you're more than welcome to. There are about eight or so bolts all around this back part and up here. Uh, in order to get the glass off, the glass is actually bolted in, which is crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and take all these uh, bolts out to push the glass off. We're gonna go ahead and leave uh, these two guys on here. There's no need to take those off for the respray. As you can see, there's some uh, damage here from the fiberglass that we're gonna be taking care of, but also this seal is completely toast. So uh, actually the owner of this hard top is going to uh, purchase a new seal and put that on here. This one's pretty, pretty rotted out. So go ahead and uh, peel this off completely. If you wanna keep your seal, I just say, um, just peel it off very carefully. There's no bolts or anything keeping it on, so just go ahead and peel it off slowly. Um, but if you're gonna re replace it, it, probably needs to be replaced, just go ahead and tear it off. You can see that lip right there, the glass like sits inside that little channel. So I'm just trying to like bend the seal out so it can like kind of slip the glass edge out of there and then I'm just trying to work this thing off. So after I got the seal off, we're gonna have to cut the urethane because underneath the glass, it's like urethaned in all the way around. So we just gotta cut that out. When you finally take the uh, windshield out, you're gonna have to clean up the leftover urethane that's on the uh, trim here. So you go to take a razor blade, kind of bend it in that shape, and you kind of just go across the whole thing. Make it just make a flat surface. You don't have to take it all off, but uh, definitely want to make a flat surface all around for the uh, new urethane to adhere to. Take your time with the corners because there's usually a lot of built up around the edges. So make sure you have all that nice and flat. Start with this one, you can see there's damage right here. The uh, top, it's a fiberglass top. So there's chunks of fiberglass missing everywhere. It's definitely got beaten up. There's a chunk missing there. Chunk about to break off right here. It's a little chunk missing there. It's a big scrape taken out here. Rock chips all across the front. So we're gonna get all that fixed. So I have this little angle grinder here. Um, this is a 36 grit disc. I'm gonna use this to grind into the fiberglass and basically remove all the damaged areas like this here. These areas here, I'm gonna basically feather all the chips back, which means like I'm gonna sand back the fiberglass until it's not chipping anymore. Same with this here. I'm basically just gonna get this to where it's smoother and then we're gonna go over and do repairs on these. So I'm gonna use this to repair this area here. I'm basically just going and sanding this until I don't have all these little strands coming out and going out and sanding the fiberglass until there's not these little crack marks in it too. We're gonna repair all the fiberglass with this stuff here. It's called kitty hair. It's actually fiberglass strands. It's kind of like a body filler, but it's actually fiberglass. And you mix it with the same hardener you would use to mix body filler. Uh, it's just a quick and easy way to fix the fiberglass. Not a perfect golf ball, but pretty close. And then you would wanna make sure that you have at least a pea size or more of the hardener. At least about that would be good. I'm gonna do a little bit more because a little bit more won't hurt and it'll just cure it a little bit faster. And then you basically just need to mix it up. You don't wanna stir it or do anything weird. You literally wanna just squeegee it out like this over and over until it all looks consistent and uniform. When you're applying this, you don't wanna leave a ton of fiberglass on. You wanna to try to scrape it off so it's kind of smooth. That way when you go to sand it, it's less work and it's a little bit easier. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, you should definitely have gloves on when you're doing this. So I'm about to put gloves on just to make my hands cleaner. Strands over 
And then when it hardens, I'll be able to sand it and kind of create the shape that I want. So you can see we've got the fiberglass repair done here. This is the little spot that we repaired and then feathered it all out. So now it's perfectly smooth. Same with this side here too. We got these filled in, got that crack filled in there. So that's good. We got this side fixed. You can see that edge there that was missing is all fixed there. This one still needs a little bit of work on the edge, but the majority of the fiberglass is fixed there. Okay, so we got the top here. It's ready for primer. We've got the whole thing finished in 180 grit. Uh, we've gone over and fixed all the damaged areas with fiberglass and then finished it off with a uh, flexible body filler. So you can see all the little white spots are a flexible filler. You see a little bit of fiberglass here. Didn't really need the flex filler over it. We've got the bare fiberglass here. It's nice and smooth. And then all the way across here, we've got all this repaired. And then the little tiny chips and stuff along the edges are all fixed too. We're about to spray this on. Um, we're gonna be using our spray gun and air compressor. If you don't have a spray gun and an air compressor, it's gonna be harder. You can do it, but it's gonna take a lot more uh, paint out of a spray can to get the film build that you would get out of real primer. 